So today we're going to talk about, and this is going to be a review of the Yamato Budogu uh, Iaito. Now this one is a custom Iaito. Um, and I'll go over all the different options I had uh, for this, but basically there's a there's a few places you can get Iaito from from Japan. Um, uh, Yamato Budogu is one of them. Uh, Tozando is another. Um, Sado Shop, I think, is another one. They, they come from Japan, but the website is in the UK. I might be wrong about that. I didn't look too far into that one. Um, but from reviews that I've read on uh, like uh, the SBG forums and Completely Katana uh, Facebook group and stuff like that that I could find, a lot of people were very happy with Tozando and also Yamato Budogu. But overwhelmingly, I think I saw that people who had experience with both said that Yamato Budogu was the one that had a little bit higher quality of uh, workmanship in it. So that's the one I went with. Uh, Price-wise, they're pretty much a wash. Uh, there are things on both that are a little bit more expensive on one or a little bit less on the other. So I think it's just kind of you just find one that has the stuff you like. And pick one. Um, as far as I can tell, they both do really awesome work. Um, but I went with Yamato Budogu, and one of my uh, Mugadu uh, classmates also has one from there, and it looks like it's really nice quality. So that was uh, also a uh, motivating factor. Now this took quite a while to get done. I think I ordered, uh, completed the order in September or October of 2019, and I got it. Um, I want to say it was in January of 2020. So it took a while to do, and I knew knew that was going to take, they were, they were good with communication. They kind of told me of what the process, how long the process was going to take. And the Saya was one of the main things that took a long time because I got the indent finish on it and the silver Koji, and um, though they fit those. They don't just slap it on there. And you'll see from the pictures I'm going to show here in a bit um, in the video that I roll that this koji is fitted it is flush mount fitted to this saya it's not just like you'll see in some other swords that it's just slapped on there and glued on this is fit perfectly and even the indent uh, finish is completed inside the little hole it's a uh, on both sides it's pretty awesome they did a fantastic job on finishing this and i can imagine that this took some time and the Saya is made for this blade, from what I understand and what I'm told. Uh, that might not be the case, but uh, they may have blanks, I'm not sure, because these, these blades are zinc aluminum alloy, and they're cast, as far as I can tell. Um, they're, they might be hand-finished and ground, but uh, I think they probably have a pretty standard shape to them. So, in any case, the only rattle you hear is zero, unless the Segeo is slapping around. I mean, I don't even have the seat all the way there, not seat all the way. Just the Segeo moving around is all you can hear. And it's, it's rock solid. I mean, fit is perfect. Uh, transitions are really good from the Saya to the Fuji. And uh, it's not a perfect match, but it's very, very close. The Sepa are silver plated. I did go with uh, solid silver uh, Fuji and Kashida because I see in other EI toes that have been used for years and years if they're just brass with uh, silver plating that silver plating will wear away and then you'll get the brass look which is kind of cool I like that that it you know it looks aged over time but I just wanted it to stick with silver so um, I opted for that so that is one one upgrade the other upgrades are um, the green suede eco, uh, the uh, Oyatsubo or Emperor node on the Samagawa. Now I have not taken this apart. I don't know, I'm, it's probably panels, but I really don't know for sure. I have not taken it apart. It's so solid and, and there's no real reason to take it apart because this blade is never going to rust um, that I just haven't done it. I just don't wanna take it apart. Just leave it as is for now. Eventually, maybe I will, but uh, there's no purpose right now. Everything's solid and it's not, you know, there's no real reason to do that. But I got the uh, the uh, squid and the octopus Minuki. 
I put them in the gyaku placement so they're under your palms. Um, I went with an, a, a just about 11 inch tsuka. So it's pretty standard. My Vulcans are 11 inch, my Motohara is 11 inch. So it's pretty, pretty straight across the board, about 11 inch. My uh, Huawei was 10, 10 and 3 quarters, so it's close enough. I liked it. I picked this uh, this uh, Moko Tsugashi Suba, and uh, it looks pretty cool. I also got the extra heavy, the heaviest blade that they make out of zinc alloy. So this blade is pretty darn heavy um, compared to the other EI toes I've had. I was using a Dojo Ebogu one, and it was very light, very quick and whippy, and this one is closer to steel. In fact, I'll pause here in a little bit and weigh it and compare it to an actual Shinken, and we'll see. Now, the other thing I got was Bohi, of course, that helps um, with your audible feedback. And also the Hamon I got was the Masahide Hamon. Got silver plated Shonai uh, Habaki. So those are all the pretty much the, the main upgrades. Uh, the Indian finish on the Saya was a bit more. Uh, I got the silver Shitogome and silk Sageo. So this is silk green Sageo. It's not a match for the uh, suede Ito, but it goes with the theme, so it looks pretty nice. And the Sageo is one of the things that's easy to really replace at any time. But I like this one. It looks looks good and um, feels nice. So this is, that's the layout of it pretty much. Now, the Ito is super, super tight. I mean, it is... It's the tightest Ito out of all the swords I've had other than the Dragon King. The Dragon King had super mega tight cotton Ito, but the, the diamonds were not very perfectly shaped or anything, and they were wonky. These, the diamonds are small, but the Ito is so, so tight. I mean, it's impossible to move this. The only place you can kind of move them is over the Minuki, which is, you know, given. And you can see that there is black Hishigami inside the uh, folds. So they did a really fantastic job. My only gripe would be the main emperor node is right here next to the knot and you can't really see it very well. The other two large nodes are a bit smaller. It'd been nice and I don't know if this is tradition why they do it on this one in particular, but it would have been nice to have the emperor node right there instead so you can see it well. But whatever, it's there. Uh, it does serve no functional purpose. It's just an aesthetic thing. One cool thing is that the Mikugi is uh, black, so it doesn't stand out. There is only one. Um, Feel-wise, it's pretty balanced. It feels like a Shinken, pretty much. It's a little bit lighter, but this being the extra heavy blade, while you get the workout of the weight of steel almost, it makes your forearms pretty tired after a while. So. Uh, which I guess is good over the long run. You'll condition yourself to to uh, get used to that weight. But I would say uh, if I were to order another one, I probably would go with a little bit lighter blade. Maybe not the super, super heavy, just the next down um, and see about that. Because, you know, after many repetitions of, in class, it does get a bit heavy uh, and it wears out your arms a little bit. But there's a benefit to it, I guess. So... Um, anyway, the uh, Suba is super nicely done. It's iron and uh, it's just nicely done. There's no sharp edges whatsoever. It doesn't, you just don't notice it. It doesn't bite into your hand for any reason. It's just perfect. The quality on the Fuchi and Kashira are super, super good. Now I got these same Fuchi and Kashira from Tozando when I went to Japan last year, but they were uh, silver plated brass. And uh, while uh, they look this, pretty much the same, you can tell that the silver have a crispness and a sharpness to the the uh, to the lines that the the brass ones just don't have. And uh, these just look great, super super great. I'm a sucker for sakuras and waves, and these these have the waves. The kojiri match is is perfect, and it's just it's got this being silver. Okay, so naturally, I got cut off. What I was saying was that uh, I got 
the same fittings from Tozando when I was in Japan last year, but they were the uh, brass plated versions, um, silver plated brass versions. And while they're just as good almost, they, the silver just has a little bit more crispness, crispness and uh, detail to the carvings and everything. And the Kojiri matches these and they, they are just fantastic. I'm, I'm a sucker for anything Sakura theme or waves and these look great. These are waves, of course. Um, now I weighed this while the video had cut out. This is two pounds, two ounces. Both of my Motoharas, the LMC is two pounds, five ounces. I had five point something. I can't remember what the point was. And the medium mat cutter with Bohe, the SGT one, is also two pounds, five ounces. Now they don't feel the same. The balance is completely different because most of the weight, I guess, on the uh, LMC is farther back because the blade is so thin. Uh, it just handles completely different from the other one, given that they are exactly the same weight. Now, this being three ounces lighter at 2.2 um, is very close to steel. I don't have another EI toe to, to measure, but most of them felt considerably lighter than this one. So this one is very close to my two Shinken. Um, balance is really nice. Uh, now the only thing I would say is I did, I was hoping for more Nihonto-esque um, thickness to the ska and hoping it was a little bit thinner. This fits my hand really just fine. It's, it's not skinny and it's not fat, it's not an axe handle. I did want more of a uh, hourglass shape and when I uh, asked them about that after receiving it, they said, well, they admit that it wasn't as, as pronounced as they had liked it what I ordered. So they gave me a little bit of a refund on that because it looks pretty much straight. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. They said that the uh, because of the extra heavy blade, the Nakago is bigger. So they couldn't make it any smaller, really. So that is what it is. What, what can you do, really? I didn't specifically say make it slim. Um, I just figured it would be that based on the... Uh, the Fuchi and Kashira sizes. So the uh, the Ito, the leather, the suede Ito is a little thicker, I guess, than silk. But you can see here on the edges that it pokes out just, you know, about a half a millimeter more than the, the Fuchi does. So um, maybe it could have been a little bit slimmer, but what can I do? So anyway, that is my only complaint. It's not a complaint. There's nothing wrong with the fit and finish of it. I just wish that it was a little bit slimmer and smaller in my hand. Um, you know, I, I, my Boken feels a little bit more comfortable. This, there's nothing wrong with this. It fits its size, but I just would love, I, for some reason, I just can't seem to get a modern sword with it a slimmer handle and I like them just a little bit slimmer not like, like tiny dainty but just a little bit slimmer than this uh, for ultimate comfort and controllability because when it's big like this it feels like it's going to fly out of my hand so anyway that's my only kind of wish I could do a little bit better maybe maybe if I get another one sometime in the future that uh, um, I can request that it gets you know, a slimmer tsuka. I'm finding some little hairs there. I guess there's pieces of uh, the suede that need to be come out. Anyway, anyway, so that's about it. Pretty much straightforward. Yamato Bodogu, super high quality, super nice. Takes a while, but uh, you get what you pay for. Um, I'd be curious to see what their off the shelf stuff looks like versus the full custom one. But this is the full custom, uh, and the, well, the ordering process was a little bit of a little bit of a pain because they don't have their website set up to just kind of fill in boxes and order. They I had to go back and forth and and do it all via email, kind of make a list based on one of their off the shelf swords, and then say uh, they had a drop down list, and then had to ask them what was possible on top of that. So. Uh, they need a new system as far as uh, ordering, but uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's pretty awesome. Um, 
It should last a long time to come, and when this Ito does get all cruddy and gummy, I can always have it uh, rewrapped and maybe slimmed down. Who knows? Um, but we'll see. All right, so thanks for watching.